Do I know you? Watchdogs. Aims hired guns. Surrender quietly! Or die noisily. You thinking what I'm thinking? This goon squad is going down. Through an awkward turn of events, Kate Bishop arrives in Marvel's Avengers before her comic book mentor and predecessor, Clint Barton, who was stingingly touted as the game's foremost DLC character edition in an earlier announcement closer to when the base game launched. Queries circulate around Kate's inclusion to the game, such as whether it was important for Square Enix to include another female character subsequent to the game's launch, or if it was a question concerning whether developers could elude having to demonstrate more dynamic or robust characters in the game. Kate's mechanics, rather, are surprisingly entertaining. Kate's standard attacks are flurried, crowd control strikes with a long blade, and are genuinely fun in hordes of regular aimbots. Kate's ranged bow and arrow attacks are effective as she equips Razor, a regular quick shot, scatter shot, where Kate loads three arrows onto the bow, and explosive, where a grenade-tipped arrow is lobbed. Kate's heroic abilities are also extremely effective. Decoy produces a holographic Kate who distracts enemies and can attack. Warp arrows launch an arrow that teleports Kate to the position aimed toward in the reticle, damaging enemies upon execution, and Quantum Overdrive ignites Kate's arrows and attacks an intrinsic quantum energy, applying an explosive buff and an increased damage output. Kate traverses using intrinsic quantum energy also, transporting along ledges and such. Kate's cosmetics are a purple batch of tactical streetwear, aviators and tank tops combinations, and an obscenely grunge and jarring skin featuring a pixie cut wig with arrows sticking out from it. Clint Barton was evidently a fan favorite inclusion and caused tempered uproar when the base game's roster was announced and Clint was not included. But despite Clint being player requested, Marvel's Avengers did not require either Kate or Clint, who are legitimately a male and female iteration of the same character. Clint's mechanics are then lamentably, but not surprisingly, iterative of Kate's, where a blade is used in quick strikes and a triage of arrow types are equipped. Clint equips Kate's razor arrows as his standard arrows, and then cluster, where three arrows are also loaded but are given an electric stun effect, and pulsar which lobs proximal stun charges. Clint's heroic abilities individuate the two Hawkeyes from each other the most. Nightstorm arrows launch a trick projectile into the air above the reticled target and rain a barrage in that position, comparable to the bow's arc shot in Monster Hunter. Recovery arrows emit a healing buff in a short perimeter, and Hunter's arrows launch homing arrows that cut through enemies' guards. Clint's traversal uses a grapple shot from the bow which snaps players along ledges smoothly enough. Clint's cosmetics have a much wider range of unique skins alongside an uninspired Old Man Hawkeye skin, and uninteresting t-shirt and denim combinations, but the most distinguished and impressive Hawkeye skin is the Ronin skin. Both Hawkeyes are fun to play, perhaps because one is nearly identical to the other with slightly different functional mechanics and different offensive and defensive purposes concerning their heroic abilities. Because the game's first two DLC expansions and character inclusions clawed the game's roster with identical archers, Square Enix proves themselves unable to inaugurate a Doctor Strange or a Scarlet Witch, for example, whose abilities would be interesting and entertaining in gameplay. Seeing as how the live-action television series The Falcon and the Winter Soldier is premiering on Disney+, Falcon would be a phenomenal inclusion to the game's roster, as his mechanical wing tech and aerial drone may have been interesting in gameplay. Unfortunately, inserting decently entertaining characters into a game that is poorly designed and structured on a fundamental basis is not an encouragement or incentive to continue playing Marvel's Avengers. Marvel's Avengers now runs at 60 frames per second through an overdue next-generation graphical update on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, and the result is a much smoother experience if motion blur and camera shake sensitivities are also reduced. Nonetheless, Marvel's Avengers featuring both Kate and Clint overinflates the character and may have denied a more unique or dynamic character from being an inclusion in the game. <laughs>